Yeah. So welcome back to my game collection. What you're going to do right now is uh, the modern or current console games that I own. Uh, and as you can see, I don't really ever trade in my games. Um, if I really like the game, I, I will keep it. If it's something that's like horrible, piece of crap, um, I'll probably I'll usually sell it on eBay. Usually a better option than uh, bringing it to those stores that do that whole thing. So, uh, I don't know, I just kind of look at games like you look at uh, like a good CD, a good music album or something. You know, if it's, if it's good, you should keep it. Uh, so that's what I do. And, you know, people go, well, you know, then you can sell it and get money for more games. But if you can't afford to buy a game and keep the game long term, then you probably shouldn't be buying games, you know. So it's just how I look at it. It's my opinion. So let's, uh, let's jump on this horse and ride it. <laughs> so we got Lost Planet. I don't, feel, I don't feel like taking them off the shelf, so they're just kind of on the shelf as they are. Um, Lost Planet 1, that's actually the collector's edition in the, uh, the metal case. Which I found cheap much later than it came out. So I have that. Dead Space. Great game. I think it's actually better than Resident Evil 5. Uh, which I like too. But uh, great survival horror type of thing. Batman Arkham Asylum. Another great game. See, these games are awesome. Why would I want to trade these games in, right? Raiden Fighter Aces and Raiden 4. Now, these are shoot 'em up games or shmups. Which is kind of like a forgotten thing in the uh, the Western world, but those are good games. I think, I think they're probably under twenty bucks at most uh, most places online, like Amazon stuff like that. So I'd really recommend uh, getting those. It's fast paced, uh, great old school style games. I really enjoy that kind of thing. So I have both of those. Devil May Cry Four. I'm a big proponent of the Devil May Cry series. I enjoy it. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Two. Fun games. Um, two was kind of a disappointment. It could have been something more. I'm still waiting for them to really like nail it with those games, but uh, good nonetheless. Bayonetta, which I think is one of the best games on the uh, the current systems, probably like of that genre of game, probably one of the best games ever. Bioshock One, personally my favorite first person game. Uh, I didn't like the second one. That's one of the games I was talking about that I did own and get rid of. But Bioshock 1's great. Uh, great atmosphere, creepiness, and uniqueness. It's not just a first-person game. It's uh, It's got a whole thing going on. So Ninja Gaiden 2. Excellent. Mass Effect by those guys at uh, those crazy cats at Bioware. We pretty much love everything they've done. It's one of my favorite games of all time. The Mass Effect series is my favorite stuff. Right next to you see Dragon Age. Dragon Age Origins. I did have Awakening at one point. I did finish Dragon Age Awakening as well. But uh, Dragon Age is awesome. I think it's one of the best games. And underrated and probably uh, deserves more than it than it received. So that was a really great game. Resident Evil 5, which uh, I really like. I said I like this space more, but just by a little bit. That game gets... Uh, a lot of flack for no reason. I think it's a lot better than people treat it. And um, I played it like four times with, with different people co-op wise. So it's just great. A lot of fun. Also the DLCs that came out for that game are awesome too. Red Dead Redem Redemption. One of my favorite games of this year. Incredible stuff. You all know about that. Ghostbusters. Another great game. Really liked it. I'd like to see more. Then I got two games. Uh, I'll pull these out. People probably don't know too much about these. Actually, we have full played this game. It's Death Smiles. It's another. It's another uh, top-down shooter, shoot 'em up, shmup, whatever the hell you want to call it. Game. It's fucking weird, you know. With the, I don't know what's going on here, but from a gameplay standpoint, it's really good, and uh, I really enjoy that kind of game. And then while I was in Japan, there's a ton of those games. It's actually arcades, but just those t types of games. And um, one of the stores in Japan, I found this game. This is Esp Galuda 2. And it's uh, that, that kind of deal. This is a Japanese game. It was released in Japan. And uh, one of the rare region-free games on the Xbox. Only you could see that 
but it actually says NTSC and J, so it'll work on the American and the Japanese Xbox. Game's awesome. I think I'm going to do something with this in a video eventually. Um, when you turn that game on, it just sounds like a Japanese arcade. Just like the uh, the sound effects and shit. It's like all you hear in the arcade, so. I got some other stuff. Got the new Castlevania, which I really liked. Vanquish, which is probably my favorite game of this like holiday season. I, I played a lot. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of the new, newer games in front of me. Um, an original game. Wow. Unbelievable. I actually made one. Fucking cool game, you know. Dead Rising 1, Dead Rising 2. I'm actually going to go back and play Dead Rising 2 uh, pretty soon because I there's a lot of stuff I uh, wasn't able to accomplish in that game just because so many games were coming out that I kind of lost track of uh, focusing on one. So now that like the gaming season's kind of done, I can jump on that and finish it up. Fable 2. Fable 3. I like them, you know, not the greatest things ever, not exactly what uh, that dude, Peter Molyneux, always promises, but they're an enjoyable run-through of a game. Assassin's Creed series, you see 1, 2, and Brotherhood, my favorite stuff, some of my favorite series of games, uh, I really love Assassin's Creed, one of the few games that I uh, went insane with, Assassin's Creed 2, I got every achievement, I don't usually do that kind of thing or care about that kind of stuff, but uh, that one I just like yeah, I just played the hell out of it. And the Brotherhood's really good. I just finished it maybe a couple days ago. I have I'm missing probably like five or six achievements. I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way with it. I liked all this new stuff they added with that game, and I'm excited to see where they go in the future with that series. And uh, Super Street Fighter Four, which I didn't really play that much, but. Uh, Time to time, you know, somebody might want to play online or something, and I'll pop it in. I think it's good. Whatever. So that's it for the uh, the Xbox. I do have PS3, so those are uh, right here. Well, actually, some more Xbox games. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't realize this. All right, so we'll finish the Xbox first. So that's the Street Fighter Four, the original Street Fighter Four Collector's Edition, which came with like a statue of uh, Viper and uh, some other crap. I don't know. It's irrelevant now that Super is out, so... And I got Mass Effect 2, the Collector's Edition, which I had to get, because I'm a big fan. I don't really get the Collector's Editions, as you can see, but if it's something that I really love, like Street Fighter or uh, Mass Effect or some kind of Bioware thing, I will grab it, so it's, I have those too. And as far as PS3 games, uh, these are next to my books as well, so... Final Fantasy 13, which, uh, I don't know, didn't like it that much. The graphics are amazing, so that's pretty much the usual review you'll hear, you'll hear from people, so I don't need to reiterate that. God of War 3, which was good. It wasn't all the, uh, you know, the hype, didn't really live up to the insane hype of, you know, waiting all these years and blah, 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 but it was a fun game. Heavy Rain, one of my favorite games of all time. Metal Gear Solid 4, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. I have Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2. So those are my PS3 games. And they're pretty much the uh, the exclusive games for the uh, the PS3. Uh, what's interesting is like I feel like the exclusives on the PS3 are better than uh, the Xboxes. These are all dreams I love, except for Final Fantasy. <laughs> Not so much. Well, that's on the Xbox also, but... Um, Whereas I, I tend to buy all the third-party stuff for the Xboxes because where uh, all my friends are and stuff, and I can jump at a party and while I'm playing something, and and uh, it's easy to easier to do things online with the Xbox than it is the PS3. So it's pretty much how that works out most of the time. Um, I'm going to cut the video now. There will be more. There's another uh, part I want to do, and I hope you'll join me for that. Hope I didn't cause too much too much controversy talking about the PS3 and Xbox stuff. You guys. You know, are kind of insane. My suggestion is just get, you know, get all the, the consoles if you can, because there's good games on all of them. And if you only have one, you're missing out on so much more. And why put energy and time into in, in, in thoughts into, you know, like, which one's better and shit like that. So, whatever. They all have their good points and their bad points, and it's always been like that. So, I don't know. I'll talk to you later.